See, that reminds me. Do you know what Mary had at Thanksgiving dinner? What is a joke? A little lamb. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Humility. And this here is Frank looking real orange. Fall. Orange, Frank. orange you glad he's wearing that shirt? Pumpkin. Um, spice. Need we say this? Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Oh man. It's funny. Thanksgiving is not a relig- religious holiday. No. But it is a holiday filled with so much love and appreciation it's almost religious yeah definitely you, you know you know how they say love and gratitude would be you know how they say like uh spiritual keep the christ and christmas yes in the sense of we focus too much on the gifts yeah it's almost like thanksgiving's the opposite where it's not religious but it's like it's all just about community right. and love and appreciation and ain't that nice so whether you're watching this before you eat your turkey or after digesting we're, we're grateful for you My name is Humility, and I'm naming myself today after Humility Cooper, which was one of the passengers on the Mayflower. Really? That was their actual name? It was their name. Humility. Humility means a modest or low view of one's own importance. Humbleness. Humbleness. Which it sounds great, and and that's my name for today, Humility. But I don't know if if naming a baby Humility, it's kind of like setting them up for like, look, don't you get any ideas? (laughs) I don't think so. I think it's setting them up to be great, right? Because yeah. it's like, if you had a kid who sucked, you wouldn't name them humility because they have nothing to be humble about. Right. But you have a kid who's great and they're they're a D one athlete, real handsome. Oh, they have to be. Reminded. It's like their name's humility. It makes it and it makes it almost better than if their name was pride and it was like they're set up to be prideful. Right. They're set up to be humble. It's like you are great, but you're humble. Yeah, so humility. That's my name for today. I like it. The Mayflower, which of course is um, part of the Thanksgiving story in America, that the one of the set of pilgrims who came over and yes. ended up having dinner. Quakers. And I'm having. Right. Were they Quakers? It's. I'm always confused about Puritans and Quakers. Maybe we'll have a podcast on. Okay, different, Puritans versus differentiation. Quakers. Differentiation. Um, this is my Thanksgiving dinner. They're so bright you can't see as usual, but they're eggs. Nice. You're gonna eat them um, live. Yeah, well, <laughs> I am gluten free and vegetarian, so, so can you have eggs. I can have eggs because I'm not a vegan. Vegan. So I bring I bring a bowl of eggs with me. <laughs> <laughs> you keep them in your pockets. <laughs> I do. Um, no, I don't. But you know, deviled eggs are a huge um, Thanksgiving eggs. offering. Yes. A lot of people have to have that on their Thanksgiving mm, table. My favorite. Um, but why don't we eat turkey eggs? It's turkey. I didn't even ever think that turkeys had eggs. <laughs> Where did the little turkeys come from? It, no, it, it makes sense now that you say it. But what do they do with turkey eggs? That reminds me. Are they me. gross? I've even seen. That reminds me. Do you know what Mary had at Thanksgiving dinner? What is a joke? A little lamb. <laughs> um, turkeys do have eggs. I've even seen. Um, what's the big the big bird? Big bird. Oh, like a pheasant? No. No. Well, bigger than that. Bigger? Like the ostrich. ostrich. Ostrich eggs. Oh, yeah, you ever yeah. see those eggs? Yeah. They're huge. I saw someone scramble an ostrich egg. It was gross. The turkey eggs were bigger. Uh, the turkey eggs are bigger and they have yellow, so, as I've heard, yellow and brown specks. These are chicken eggs. Mm. Um, and they have found turkey eggs at Native, Amer- <clears throat> Native American encampments. So Native Americans were using them. And um, Mexico, which is basically America, if you don't. On the south. Consider a border. The South America. Yeah. Or or America is basically part Mexico. Of the Americas. Americas, yeah. So they suppose I'm I'm not an expert. Loose facts. Loose facts. Loose facts. Domesticated the turkey. And so they used turkey eggs. Um they were frequently used they were mistakenly blamed for leprosy. So I think people kind of moved away from them. Like if you ate a turkey egg, you would yeah, get you, leprosy. You would get, what would, happened to leprosy? Now know. that we're on the topic. I don't know. Where did it go? Stop like there was there eggs. wasn't any leprosy vaccine. Well, the reason that we don't eat turkey eggs today, <laughs> I don't know about leprosy. Um, the reason we don't eat turkey eggs is because chickens lay an egg a day. Turkeys lay twice a week. So it's all about uh. money. Um, I think with leprosy, what 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 um, got rid of leprosy was La Limpia. 
La Olympia is the Spanish. Have you ever seen like um on I've seen it on TikTok or yeah. social media. Uh, Spanish people, especially, they rub a fresh egg over someone to get rid of their pains, their illnesses, or their bad mojo. Just like with the shell and all. Yeah, with the sh- with an egg like this. Oh. Okay. So um, there's all different. One? Surely, there's. <laughs> look at your crow. Just crows must have eggs too. <laughs> um. Yeah, robin eggs. Those are blue, right? Yeah, but that's for all birds will have eggs. How about penguins? Yeah. This is good. You it's kind of t- nice, but I imagine that the eggs that the um, Spanish people are rolling are not cold. I feel like this is just nice because it's like a, um, what do they call this? Like a, a, the, the, the women use them and they just roll. Oh, yeah. Like that derma roller or something. Yeah. Well, what you do is you is you um, you bless yourself. You say three heart oh. fathers and then you do this. But get, but get, guess what? Afterwards, you got to get rid of that. It just, do do it it? just took, you got to flush it down the toilet or throw it in a river. You can't eat it? No, it just took. Oh, it's it sucked in. Like the it egg. It took the energy. It was implanted with that energy. It took the energy. disease. It took whatever it was. And now you toss it. Okay, so we're going to roll it. No, and we're no, Toss no. it. Um, so that's, that's eggs, but that's, that's. Wait, what is it? Like you can't break an egg if you. Please, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what, isn't that a thing? Like you can't like. Yeah. Knuckle and egg. I think end to end is super strong. All right. Do you want to hear um, Thanksgiving facts? It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's so great to be alive. All right. So, of course, Guinness Book of World Records. I think last Thanksgiving we had like a big Thanksgiving feast while we were. We did. Was big, that when we had the. I think we had two. I think we had. Did go, we have a charcuterie board? No, I think that was New Year's or Christmas. Uh, Thanksgiving, we literally no, that had was a the, cookie uh, or something. We had, we had teeny tiny little yeah, Thanksgiving plates. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, I just want to say something. The Guinness book, the Guinness World Record for fastest turkey carving, three minutes and nineteen seconds. Now I wonder how well you knew. Like, I wonder what the requirement to have a fully carved turkey is. I don't know. Wait, how long? Three minutes and nineteen. That seems long. Nineteen seconds. Three minutes. Yeah, it does. Maybe because you have to do it like you just said. There, there's like, like you need all all the the perfect cuts of meat. Yeah. But Still three minutes. Oh, you think you could break it, it sounds like. You know what? If you had a turkey here, I just might try. We don't want to break it. You know why? The winner of the person is in the UK and his name, Paul Kelly, which I have Kelly in relatives. heaven, Uncle Paul. Oh, uh, who Paul just, Kelly. Who just went to heaven. Um, and same name. I don't know if he's a good turkey carver. Maybe it was him. Maybe it was, yeah, maybe it was. You know what? My, uncle, and maybe my that, uncle's the fastest turkey yeah, carver. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm like... That's it. It's because like I have turkey cutting in my genetics. <laughs> right. So it's like, I bet I you could. You were have... pretty judgy the other day when I was carving um, our pre-pre-Thanksgiving turkey. You were cutting with a knife that was just about as sharp as a and spoon. And you know what I thought? We should have used that super, super sharp knife that we have. I was thinking that, but that... you get scared of sharp knives. I do get scared of sharp knives. World's largest pumpkin pie, 3,699 pounds. That's too much. That's a waste, right? I'm trying to think. Do you think now? I mean, I'll have a picture up of it, but do you think it was extremely long and like the same uh thickness of a regular pie or do you think it was a really thick Ew, pie it had to be really flat shallow yeah, i hope yeah. so had to be shallow. um largest serving of green bean casserole no one cares about that a thousand, i do a thousand a thousand nine pounds that's excessive heaviest turkey the actual See, living, I, I, the living I, yeah, thing. I like I like this stat because it's like i don't care you just put a bunch of green beans into the biggest bowl you can find all right it's heaviest turkey let me guess I'm guessing it's a big bird. Yeah. 120 pounds. You're going to kill me. What? It looks like I did. Oh, yeah, I did. You didn't have it. <laughs> I was like, what? This was 1989. I don't know if they got a fatter turkey since now. 1989? They have had to. We, now we have like um, GMOs. Yeah. This is only 86 pounds. No, stop it. His name I'm was a, Tyson. This is the heaviest turkey right here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Texas had the... Wait, what did I say a second ago about a... The pumpkin pie was 3,699 pounds, right? Yeah. You know, Texas has to do everything bigger. Everything's bigger in Texas. So they have the largest pecan pie or pecan pie or pecan pie. Nobody says pecan. Go to the Great American Baking Show. You know how they have the Great British? Yeah. Bake-up? There's an American one, Christmas version, Baby Spice from from um, Baby Spice from Spice Girls. Yeah. She's on the show. I watched it yesterday and she said pecan. I said, who says pecan? No. Pecan pie. 
Not acceptable. All right. So the largest. Did you understand what I just said? The largest pumpkin pie was three thousand. Got three thousand pounds. Largest casserole. Who cares? Two thousand pounds. Texas made a pecan pie. You know how many pounds it was? How many? Texas made a pecan pie in. Do you know how many? (laughs) Because I I can't believe the number. Forty-one thousand five hundred and eighty-six pounds. No. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's too heavy. That's Who like, knows where I got these facts? Yeah. These are these talk about loose facts. It says it. The fastest time anyone has ever eaten 17 ounces of cranberry sauce. Ugh. It would take me a day just for one ounce. Wow. How long? Oh, 42, 43 seconds. See, that's like more of a time that I can believe is a record. I still can't believe three minutes for carving a turkey. You know how long three minutes is? We'll be quiet for three minutes and you'll see how long it yeah, is. Yeah, really? Or if someone's strangling you. <laughs> The first ever video game character float it was in the Macy's Parade. Wait, video game character float. So yeah. it's uh, Mario? No, 1993. 1993. So it has to be a really old game. Uh, it has to be someone that Mario-esque, right? Like, is it, a, is it like Pikachu? Oh, no. Uh, is, is that a... It's, it's a very well-known thing, but I don't know if you're going to guess it. Uh, give me a hint. It's also a, a fast food restaurant. Sonic the yeah. Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, but on his debut, he blew into a fence, a lamppost, and popped. <laughs> That's the Macy's Day Parade in New York. But my favorite Macy is my friend Macy Marshall. New York City. All right. That's all I have for... Um, well, that was fun. Fast facts. Thanksgiving. Fast facts on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Beautiful thing. Do I have anything else? No. Nope. Now we're done. I have walk through Thursday. Why do you always introduce it like that? Like we we need to learn like a like a hand signal or something because then I don't know if I should like bring it in then or bring it in when I say it. It's walk through <laughs> Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What's every what's up, what's everybody up? What's up everybody? It is walk through Thursday, your favorite time of the year on a Thanksgiving. You know what's funny? It'll always be Walk Through <laughs> Thursday on Thanksgiving because it's always on a Thursday. What we do here on Walk Through Thursday is we open up the Bible. Come all ye faithful. Pretty soon. And what we do is we pick a verse. We find a verse. We let a verse find us. True. And we walk through it, people. We slow it down. We break it down. We chop it down. And instead of just seeing it up on the wall, this is the Bible verse. See you later. Memorize it and forget about it. No. We try to figure out what every specific word means in it. And you might think something different, and that's okay too. Yeah. It's all about for your individual interpretation and what the Holy Spirit is telling you at that moment. But without further ado, we are going to get into it sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, l- syllable by syllable, letter by letter. Yeah. All right. What are we talking First about? First letter, J. <laughs> <laughs> second letter okay oh we're going to um john it's in the new testament yes the gospel of john is, john is also known as the farewell discourse what does that mean so you can look it up farewell means bye bye and means. discourse means conversation so it's the it's the goodbye, the conversation, goodbye conversation that jesus had with his primary um disciples yes at and the last supper at the uh, after the after they were done eating yeah, so just to give some context, guys, yesterday, if you watched the podcast on don't dinner, if you watch the dinner podcast, you will see that we came to some conclusions late later on in the podcast and finally said that dinner is not about trying to grab at every moment and say this is fleeting, but to enjoy it and know that no matter what happens, there's always love and that is never fleeting. Right. And so now we're going to dive into it a little more. Yeah, so you'll read it. Last week we were confused. I do believe I was proven right when I watched it back. What you said that I always called it out, and no, I yeah, didn't. Mm. yeah. Um, I mm. will, I will read it. Here we go. <clears throat> so where are we? We're reading John fourteen twenty seven to twenty eight. Mm-hmm. Is it twenty seven to twenty eight, or is it twenty seven to twenty nine? When you're reading twenty eight. I don't know. You could say 27 and? No, it has. it's just 27 and 28. You could yeah, say 27 and percent. And percent. <laughs> peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. 
You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Thank you for coming to our show. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have an egg. All right. Um, there's some things I didn't understand that in this, so I'm glad we're walking through it. Yeah. But well, the very first thing, if I may, if I may, pass me the potatoes. Uh, if I may, is is the first thing you read, which is "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you," which uh, is super familiar in the Catholic Mass. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Yeah. When or, and the, also with you. Right. Every time you are, every time the mass is celebrated, this is, this is the priest, you'll, you'll hear the priest say this. And uh, if you knew or didn't, now you know. <laughs> you think you know, now you know. Now you know. It's from the gospel. Peace, my peace I give you. My, what peace, is it? Peace, peace I leave you. I leave you. Peace, so I peace be with you. you. Yeah. And, and then also it, with you. Yeah, it continues. So that yeah. I just, that like, ding, oh, I know that. That's from mass. Peace I leave with you. And my peace I give you. Yeah, okay. Anything else to say on that? Peace. Peace. We love peace. <laughs> World peace. I peace, do not... Piece of pecan pie. Pecan pie. <laughs> piece of 40,000 pound pecan pie. I do not give to you as the world gives. I love that. What does it mean? Well, the world is... The world can give me a brand new car. The world can give yes. me fame. The world can give me, um, you know, Rapunzel hair. Yeah. And of course, that's all coming from God, right? Yes. But it's not really what you... Sh you um... um, It's funny. I think it was what? Last walk through Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why I'm bringing this up because I won't remember the exact verse. But okay. it, somehow went, it somehow went like, what am I afraid of? Mere, what, uh, oh, mere, what can mere mortals... What can, mere, <laughs> mere mortals do to me. What can mere mortals do to me? Yeah. And when we were walking through it, we were talking about how it's not talking about what they can do to you earthly because they can shoot you yes. and stab you and yes. set you on fire, but they can't touch like your spiritual, right. your, your soul. And so in this is saying on like the opposite side of mm -hmm. not talking on the mortal side, it's um, I do not give to you as the world gives. Right. Like, and I can, you know, it's like it says I do not give to you, but it's also like what I give you right. is not of this world right. and it can't be touched. You go to a... Um a, a wedding um they have these wedding rehearsal dinners and and um so he he's he's here with his all his people they're, they're this yeah. important dinner and you know and they make, they give you things right they give you like a flask or they give you i don't know what a keychain or something you know i'm yeah. not gonna you're not gonna get some swag here like i don't give to you like the yeah. world gives yeah. to you i'm yes. a, i'm about something that it's, it's greater actually that. greater too yeah. hard for you to understand but just try to take it in yes do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Well, you love that. I love it. Because you're very I'm afraid. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of sharp knives. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like this. It's, it, and you got to remember where this is coming from. You know, it's like where they are troubled and afraid. Yeah. And, and especially so questions. with this. What, is, what was called, John? The, uh, the goodbye, the farewell. Discourse. The farewell discourse, mm -hmm. right? Part of, of this whole story is the fact that they were emboldened by the fact that they were with Jesus. Right. And it's like, oh, well, we, we can we can take on the world. We're right. with you. And so as soon as they realize, like, he's out of here. Peace. Peace be with you. <laughs> peace I give you. Um, They were like, we can't do this on our own. Mm -hmm. like, like, we're afraid. And, and this idea of do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid is, is such a calming thing about the whole thing. And, and, and that stays with you no matter what you know what i mean like and that's why you know jesus is always with you and stuff and you have to remember to not be troubled and to not be afraid i love it i love I it i love it i love, I love it. the two different components because um do not let your hearts be troubled again in a different podcast we talked about a heart not being the organ of like don't have heart disease after your peak and pie you know it's the it's that um what's that word when it's like it's not the actual word the something heart, you know, like the, oh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Just using the word heart for yes, your yes, broken heart. Yes. Your heart's not actually broken. So I just like, don't let your hearts be troubled because of course I like, do not be afraid because the door could have been blasted in at any moment with guards yeah. stabbing the whole entire crew. 
So don't stabbing on today's podcast. Was there? I think it's the third time I brought it up. Carving. It's carving. Stabbing that turkey. Carving Thursday. Yeah. So of course, don't be afraid what can physically happen to you, yeah. which because that is very a very real possibility. But also, don't let your hearts be troubled. Yes. Which is not a physical feel, really. I don't think. No. No. It's a it's a internal, bat. There's internal battles, right. and it's like. Do not do not them because trouble. Yeah, troubled is, is very different than afraid. It's, it's like, like anxiety. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the times we get this like these troubled feelings of like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. And they, like, depression. Yeah. Like, and once again, if you just think of all the thoughts they're having about Jesus leaving, it's not right. just afraid is just one component where it's like, oh, we're next. Mm-hmm. But a lot of it was like that anxiety of like, like how how are we gonna keep going without him? And right. we we all struggle with that from time to time, but. We are here to tell you to not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Yeah. And I also like the continuing instructions because peace, all these words alone, like peace is a nice word, but then you think like, okay, yeah, I want peace. Like what about it? And how would I get it? And who, yeah. who doesn't want to be, you know, people tell you, don't worry. And you're like, okay. How am I supposed to worry? Yeah. But <laughs> depth perception, um, peace. Your heart isn't troubled. Yes. Don't be afraid. It's, just, it's such a comforting... I feel calm just reading it. it. It really is. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. A little confusing there. So what he's saying is, you heard me say... So he's... You heard me say, I'm, I'm going away and I'm coming back to you. And that's what we, that's what we always talk about. That's what we came to the conclusion of yesterday. When we said there was nothing to worry about because they're all like, oh, Jesus, you're leaving me, you're leaving me. But it's like, um, I'm, I'll am i always be with you. Like, right. I'm coming back to you. Right. And in the literal sense of this, it was, you know, the resurrection and right. they did see them or they did see him again. But in the more um, spiritual idea is that I'm always going to be with you. And that's right. that's what we came to the conclusion of yesterday is that, um, you know, back uh, – the same way I do not give to you as the world gives, it, it's getting rid of that physical. It's like there, there's a difference of I'll be with you physically, right. as, like earthly, right? and I'll be with you. Right. And so I'm going away in my earthly bane, which means nothing because I give to you. I don't give to you the way the world gives, right. and I'll always be with you on a different right. sense, in, in a right. different sense. Right. So the world gives and the world takes. Um, and and Trenton makes and the world takes. <laughs> No, the the I meant like the world. He's saying I don't give as the world gives, right? So the world gives in a way, and the world takes in a way, and God eliminates that because nothing can be taken yes. from you. If you know if, if, what can mere mortals do to me? Right, nothing can be taken from you, and what what can be given to you by the world does pales in comparison to what you can actually. Um, get from god yes this is all really hard for some people to comprehend and that's why you gotta take it easy breezy easy breezy beautiful cover girl <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah are we done no oh okay the last i'm line. sorry i was just thinking you know like just it was very comforting um I- I- imagine he was the one that was about to be extremely yeah. traumatized yeah. and he and here he is comforting, comforting all of them all the people who who are also scared yes and so to finish up if you loved me this is this is a big line so listen up get off your phones unless you're watching this on your phone put down your pie <laughs> you heard me say oh so, if you loved me you would be glad that i'm going to the father for the father is greater than i Mm. Now that's the, I think that's the biggest line, and it's the the biggest for me. It's the biggest takeaway Tell from me. this, because this doesn't just apply to Jesus, who did you know obviously ascended up to heaven, but with every like I, I think that was my that was my mistake yesterday when you corrected me on when you really put me no, in my I place didn't. when you told me I'm no. an idiot when i when i was i was thinking of of, of dinner in a, in a different way mm-hmm. where i was saying like oh you need you need to cherish these moments like right. you don't know when it's going to have your last and and then what we came to the conclusion of was you you enjoy every moment of love mm-hmm. and you know like it, it's just like uh what's what's like newton's law energy or 
matter cannot be created nor destroyed. Oh, right, right, it's right. It's just there. Yeah. It's the same thing with love, right? And it's like, so when you have it, like a, a pocket of it, enjoy that and, and, and take it all in. But if that goes away, it's, it's not gone. Right. And with this, you know, especially um, with losing people, it's so easy to act as if that matter, that love is gone. And right. it's like the good times. Like, oh, do you remember last Thanksgiving when I was with that person? And it takes a lot of faith to live by this verse, but it's if you loved me, and and, and that's not in a facetious way of like right. if you love me, it's like if you truly he under- knows they love him, so yeah. he's trying to it's like bring if, that if you forward. if you truly understand what I'm saying to you, you, yeah, trust me as I speak, yeah, you would be glad that I'm going to the Father for the Father is greater than I, right. and so it's like there's there's this idea of you know obviously it's it's, it's natural to mourn and to mm-hmm. to be on this earthly plane but it's 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 almost like a, a celebration to like what what are you what are you crying for hey right. hey john john <laughs> peter paul no it was what, what are you crying i for? lost who it was it was philip thomas and judas philip thomas judas judas <laughs> it'd be nice judas had the devil in him judas had challenges like a lot of people um you know and this is also a good time for this because uh you know uh there's a there's a part of society american society who calls today the national day of mourning um it's today? More, yeah it's for the native americans uh, and um so and other people like uh, you want to shy away from that part of the story and you went yeah. what's this and what's that it's all worldly it's all it's worldly, worldly yeah. because we're all brothers and sisters in christ we're all going to be in heaven together we're, the banquet will never end the joy will never end here's jesus talking to people who knew him intimately yeah they, which we, we don't know what that was like, right? Yeah. But so they knew how great he was and they could, the love was just, the love was just so obvious. Yes. He's saying again, like so many times in the Bible, it says like, you have no idea. Yeah. If only you knew. It, my father. So I'm going, there's a room for you that I've yeah. created. You're coming after me. Yeah. And it is all about hope and um keep keep your keep your chin up keep your chin up you know what like and, that, and that's that's the biggest thing about it. it it's like because we don't know like i feel like you know it's 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 in these moments that we see like that we are blinded and it's like you know jesus and and just so many bible verses in general say it so many times like if only you knew like the the the, the, the little stress and it, it goes through this entire verse of like the troubled and, and, and the, the being afraid and I don't give to you the way the world gives. And it's like right. so much we see this redundancy of just like, if only you knew. Right. And, and, and we don't know, but, you know, we can keep our eyes open and right. our ears open and trust that fact. But um, any time we get caught in a because I mean, this this is the whole this whole two verses that we read covers a lot of things. Like mm-hmm. when we're troubled, when we're afraid, when we're losing somebody. Right. These are, these are all. These all a lot of these things feel like such a right, weight coming down on right. us, but it's it's so much saying. If only you know, like this yeah. is nothing to worry about. Like no. uh, troubled in mourning, like there's nothing to to be worried. Or do not be afraid of any of that. Of anything. You're losing somebody. They were losing Jesus. Is like, what are, what are you upset about? I'm I'm going with the Father who's greater right. than me. It's like, you, you, it's literally great. I'm going to a better place. Right. And so. And so were you. And yeah, and so the, yeah, this pretty much just covers like a lot of these earthly trials and tribulations that we go through. Yeah. And gives a comforting reassurance. And, you know, we didn't even read, which I suggest people read John 14. I suggest people read the whole Bible. For that farewell discourse. That's a big (laughs) ask. It's a big ask. (laughs) Buy next podcast. (laughs) But, you know, we didn't didn't read the um, verse before, which is 26. But it talks about um, that not only am I... So Jesus, what what, what we read was... I'm leaving. Don't be afraid. Yeah. You know, we'll all be reunited. But the verse right before it is is even saying, not only is all that going to happen, but the Holy Spirit's going to be with you yeah. in my absence. You're never alone. You're never, never. alone. So, yeah, hold on and yeah. and everything and I'll be back. But even then, it's not, you weren't unattended. It, yeah. it, the Holy Spirit is going to just fill that void right there. Yes. Super. It's Super. <laughs> It's supper. It's, it's, the last super. It's super. Maybe they just put it. It was a typo. Oh. <laughs> well, then you wouldn't. You wouldn't want it to be the last super. The last super. Well, anyway, super guys, well, we can't hold you up anymore because you're probably starving. 
And so are we. So we're No, because eat. you said they could watch it after they've eaten. You're probably stuffed and ready for a nap. Stuffed. One of those other one or one or the other. One or the other. But anyway, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Today's a day of gratitude. So, you know, just reflect. Today's a day of reflection. You know, I I think everybody it's it's always inspiring um to me when I see someone who is struggling or coming from a part of the world where they can't have much yeah. and they find things to be grat- uh, grateful for. Right. And, and you, you see it across the board. I, I watched an interview of, um, of a Holocaust survivor who was saying they're grateful. And I always find those stories inspiring oh, because sure. in, in a, like, you can have different viewpoints in life. Mm-hmm. And I think gratitude is such a, a powerful thing for your mental. And so find something to be grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for our viewers. I'm grateful for Frank. <laughs> I am too. But anyway, <laughs> he's guys. Our he's our first viewer. He, no, he's not. He's not? He only came in like halfway through the podcast. He used to watch from over there. <laughs> <laughs> we invited him. Anyway, guys. Yeah. Go enjoy your Thanksgiving. Um, Happy New Year. We will Happy be back. Happy New Year. It might be someone's New Year. May, they'll make, like they'll the think we're not coming candle. back. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be back on Wednesday. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> Thursday. Oh, right. We'll be back tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Peace. But today was Friday. Oh, 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 oh.